Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of December. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there, and if not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So, um, just a reminder to everyone before I begin here that the channel you're watching this video on should say Enchanted Tarot. If it does not, then this video should not be on that channel. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Let us begin. Okay. There was a situation, I'm going to begin here, that you were hopeful for, but uh, things were not as they appeared. A lot of doubts, uncertainties here. Um, you learned something shocking about this person. Okay. I feel that this energy has already past because it sits in the deep past so or is at what is at the root of this you found out that somebody lied to you now you could have um you could have been in a marriage like situation with them or you were married or you were planning uh, to or wanting to but this person was keeping secrets and something shocking came out because you have the eel here the eel uh, speaks to things that lurk in the shadows it can speak to dishonesty bad intentions hidden things this is um, somebody either says or does something that uh, that shocks you and you may not see it until it's too late whatever this is I feel call uh, causes you to kind of pull back and question this person or the belief that you originally had about this person something takes a hard turn or a hard shift here and now um, you have this card of belonging so now you um, are questioning uh, this person they may suddenly appear like a stranger like you thought you knew them but now you're not so sure you did actually know them and you could be questioning who the heck this person is you may not be sure that you belong with this person anymore. This would be in question. So something here has transformed, having to do with um, issues about belonging or where you belong. And it's it could be um, with this card more like um, <clears throat> because of the cards it sits upon, uh, it's like that woe is me uh, type of energy. It could be uh, you are now considering what needs to get out of your life, you know, what you need to shed here. So, arriving here at the central issue is the card of power. Now, this is the powers at play, okay? Um, it can be somebody, this person, may have done something to try to make you bend to their will or um, wanted you to do something you didn't really want to do or they did something that goes against your beliefs or that you 
feel is very wrong. It's something uh, you did desire. You did desire this person. Okay, but now you're taking a deeper look. Now you're looking at the consequences. The entourage is in the reverse. Now you're looking at the cost. of having this relationship with this person. The cost to you and uh, you're not trusting this person. There is deception here. Things still hiding in the shadows. So it's like a, you've withdrawn. I don't feel that you've had your say yet because of the chicken here. And I will get to that in a minute. But the snail um, looks towards the connection and towards where it's sitting right now, which is in a, a dark place, okay? And um, withdrawn uh, in their shell. It could also be with the snail that this is now uh, a very fragile situation needing to be handled with care, possibly. Um you're praying for answers and you see a hand that comes out of the dark cloud and and but the hand is empty and this person holds this book but it's closed so i kind of feel like i feel like they're saying you you already know what you need to do you have it open the book you have the wisdom you have the information open the book You may not be seeing it in, in the moment, but you do hold the answer. Now, um, so here we have the chicken. Yeah, beneath I see a card of justice. And justice doing the right thing. Um, so we have the chicken. And um, the chicken is about uh, speaking up. Um, it speaks to the power of your voice and you know you do have that uh, standing in your power card here uh, along with the chicken so there's something that you need to speak up about to this person to get off your chest okay something that's bothering you uh, and may have been bothering you for a while, okay? And you need to speak up. You need to let your voice be heard because otherwise you will carry this around with you for a very long time. The chicken urges you to listen to what your inner voices are telling you um, because it will be for your own good. See, I, 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 because they're taking me back here, um, you, you already know the answer. You need to listen to that inner voice. So here in these two cards, we have the world and this Knight of Wands. So this is that unexpected news that came towards you. And you're looking back at it. And you're looking back at the cycle or the journey here. And there's something I feel that you want to say. We have the uh, wildflowers here. And for me in this reading, coming with the cards that are with it, this is an awakening with regards to a current person, partner, or situation. Now, if I look at the, um, the next card, Four of Wisdom in this deck is a card of somebody being nice to you or generous with you to get something back. I mean, it's coming with the Page of Swords, so... Um, this, is page, this Page of Swords here is information... Uh, 
either you're going to give that's not going to be welcome or that you're going to receive that is not going to be welcome. And maybe it is about that. Maybe uh, this person was only nice and generous with you to get uh, uh, something back from you. Maybe they were using you. Maybe they did have bad intentions. I feel that they did. And maybe this bothered you. Maybe this is what was that's on your mind. Well, why? Why did they? You know, they everything. Just, everything just seemed so good. You know, they said they loved me. Um, they did this for me. They did that for me. Um, I don't understand. You know. Uh, There's a rebellion here. I feel like um, you're stuck. Um, you're looking over at the Two of Cups and they are uh, separated, okay? There's distance here now between them. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the Eight of Swords, the head is bandaged, so there's been a lot of thought about this distancing. Um, the heart is hurting uh, because it also bears a bandage and we have the three of swords down here um, there's a card of rebellion so you rebelled because uh, of something that you discovered something shocking uh, either said or an action that was done as uh, something that you just didn't feel right about that you know uh, you felt was wrong or somebody asking you to do something that felt wrong and so you rebelled and so here you are here you may discover that this person uh, was uh, with you to get something back that is a possibility because it's coming with the wildflowers and the wildflowers speaks to an awakening about this situation, this situation of someone being uh, nice or generous just to get something back. This could be the news that actually upsets you, okay? So here we have somebody who uh, was, you know, they, they weren't doing the right thing uh, and they were covering it up. They were deceptive here. And um, I think, because this card actually speaks to trying to cover up the error, but they know that they're going to get caught. So they may have snuck off or, or took off, possibly, with that card. The Three of Swords. Whatever they did to you, it's brought you uh, a lot of heartbreak. Um, it was a very difficult and painful truth that was learned or will be learned here in the future that is hurtful. Something that you valued that you had at one time hope uh, hoped for and believed in has been forever changed and an important lesson um, to bring forward from this experience is to continue to hold on to the truth you've gained but don't let it become a prison of bitterness or a weapon to keep others out. And that is the message on the Three of Swords. You have a decision to make, justice. You could be um, feeling very upset with justice being here. Um, this could be 
um, doing what's right or what you feel is right. Um, but it does say that justice will be served, okay, one way or the other. The question is here, who's serving up the justice and what type will it be? If we're sitting in judgment, which face of judgment uh, or of justice do we wish to embody? Will we forgive as we would wish to be forgiven? Or shall we demand our pound of flesh? The Four of Cups uh, beneath the um, justice tells me that um, you are very unhappy with this situation at this time here. And you're not happy with your options. You're still holding on to disappointment. Um, and you have not yet processed uh, these hurt feelings or the heartbreak that was associated with um, the action or what happened. So um, I feel like uh, you will be open and willing to uh, to talk. Okay. Uh, right now there's possibly not any talking. Um, you will be open and willing to talk, but you're going to be very guarded and you're going to keep that sword close by. You will have a, a decision to make on, uh, on this person, this situation. Yeah. You already know what you need to do. The cards are telling you this. And when you get that chance to speak up, you need to get off your chest and what's been bothering you. Take that opportunity to clear whatever you've been carrying so that you don't continue to carry it forward. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in um, a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.